afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Royal Highland Show 2022, the 200 year anniversary. Something really exciting for you this afternoon. We've had a slight change in our schedule, but what we are now witnessing is the heavy horse turnout yes, fours. This is something that comes to, the, comes to the show every single year. It's really yeah, spectacular to see. Moment. It's something that we don't get to see very often, but it's the Clydesdales being driven as a four with the old fashioned wagons. Uh, You'll note that there's a driver and a groom. And these also horses are the turned animals, out feathers, the absolutely the spectacularly. You'll also notice that a lot of the driven tack is actually, it's, it's different depending on who it is that's driving it, but it's absolutely phenomenal. As they come round, I'll, um, I'll turn my microphone round so you can almost hear the bells slightly reminiscing of Santa and his sleigh with the reindeer. I think when you see these horses working together as a four, you really, really can understand the power of this beast. And I mean, some of them are just almost identical. I'm a bit jealous, really. I just like one of them. They've got four. How fair, unfair is that? Clydesdale's been a traditionally driven horse for years and years. But it's not that often that we really get to see them nowadays. And certainly not in this formation or being driven with such amazing wagons behind them. I think it's really special that at the Royal Highland Show that the Clydesdales and the Heavy Horse are celebrated so much. We've been very conscious that we've wanted to feature a lot of them in these live well, feeds. This, uh, team of four is moving out is John McIntyre's team from your show. The driver is Ron Brewster. And looking closely at this lovely team of four, they're all mares, which is perhaps unusual. But I'm sure they'll produce the goods on the demonstration around for movement. And finally, Team of Clydesdales from the Isle of Butte, driven this afternoon by Jock McMillan, with his um, daughter helping as a groom. Ellie is there. The Clydesdales can also be driven with the two-wheeled carts as well. This is often known as the ladies' cart classes so the to or the gentlemen's the cart classes. Movement, which um, is a strong competition. And so they're coming across the ring. And Obviously, with the two-wheeled carts, there tends to just be a single, Ricky, single horse to one vehicle. So they're definitely all female. The jingling of their show harnesses really is something special. And now coming across the middle of the arena is Jock McMillan driving the four Clydesdales from down in Isle of Butte. Mill Arthur, Mill Jimmy, Mill Geordie and Mill Magic. Their turnout is the 
We were going to try and bring to you the pygmy, so pygmy goats this afternoon, um, the but there was a slight change in schedule. So going from all things, all creatures great and small, um, we thought we'd make our way over to this class. As I said, it is something really special. And if you weren't able to be here today, we hope that you appreciate being able to at least watch them with us live across Facebook. It really is a treat to see the Clydesdales, especially being driven in, with the wagons. Heavy, a lot of the heavy horse owners have actually really become adept at sort of finding all sorts of uses for these animals and their enjoyment of owning them. So it's not obviously just the wagons, you know, there's the horse and carriages for weddings. There's obviously the ridden category, which we covered yesterday. So as these, um, teams are Although they're not used anymore the for farming or plowing our fields, they're still very much loved and appreciated. And certainly admired. And just to help with these um, harnesses take hours of polish, sweat, and tears. And they will take their turn to make sure it's a superb turnout, clean, and it all fits, and it matches. hours that will have gone into cleaning all of that show tack so it is shining and just beautiful for today will have been incredible. I can only imagine the number of bars of tack soap that were used. It's probably not even tack soap to be honest, it's probably something far more special something worthy of these beautiful harnesses at least. This class really is renowned for pulling in the crowds as well. It's a firm favorite of everyone's. I believe it's actually tomorrow or it may be Sunday. I will confirm that with you guys tomorrow, but um, we'll also be covering this class, but with the sixes. For those of you that tuned in yesterday and we were having, we were covering the ridden Clydesdale, we had their hooves thundering past us as they cantered past. It was really exciting. So to actually see four or six of them being driven together very unique it's very special and likely something that you will only ever see at the Highland show so as you can see the final bit of control is judge asking the drivers to just reverse a few steps to show the ability that these horses do have because that's what they have to be able to do when they're working life and of course the working life of these Clydesdales starts to disappear in the 60s 1960s with mechanization coming in and just to help you as you can imagine the Clydesdale breed of course is born and bred in Lanarkshire Scotland and has been used as the draft horse from the 
mid 1800s until the 1960s. And today they have many uses, as you can see out here, fully these extremely well turned out drays and reenacting the job that they were bred to do many years ago. So I'm not sure whether you were able to hear that, um, but something, you know, it's not just about the turnout of the horses, the tack, the wagons, the full dress. It's also, this class, about the manoeuvres. So here you'll see that this is a reverse manoeuvre, which all of the horses combined do together. The really skilled drivers, you barely will ever see their hands moving, the way that they communicate to the horses via the reins. For those of you that have ever had a chance of driving a carriage or a cart, it's, um, it's, good, it's very good fun. But you'll appreciate what I mean by the not moving of your hands. So some of the horses that you're seeing right now, although they're in cart formation, they will also be ridden ponies. Sorry, absolutely not ponies. Far too big to be ponies. Ridden horses. Well, this is interesting. The judges asked to see these three teams out again to give another display of their movement and how the drivers react and keep the horses together and they're balanced and moving freely. So the three teams you can see was led off by Victor Scott, followed by David Willard, followed by Ron Brewster. We now have three of the carts travelling round the ring. This is just to give the judges an extra opportunity to see how they move. He's only chosen these three, so I'm wondering whether he's swithering where to place everybody. He's asked for an extra opportunity to see them move. You'll note that the participants that just came past, these horses didn't actually have their feathers, but that's simply because they've just been clipped. Well, that's these drivers done their best, and who knows the winner? Only the judge.
and now it's decision time. you weren't able to make it down to the Royal Highland Show this year, but you were able to join us on Facebook Live, we're delighted to have you. But if you do get the opportunity for next year, this is definitely a class I would highly recommend coming along to see. So tomorrow, it's Saturday already, our third day of the show. We'll be going to see, again, a variety of different classes. We may also be making some extra live footage from the pole climbing competition, as Dan over there, who's one of our expert climbers, actually managed to break a record, a World Guinness Book of Records this morning, climbing an 80-foot pole at 9.2, sorry, 9.3 seconds, beating the current record of 9.6, which is really, really epic that that happened here today. So perhaps, who knows, tomorrow morning might be another one to beat. There's also the tug of war on tomorrow, which is a really, really popular activity. Everyone gets very much involved, whether they're actually part, taking part in it or at the sidelines. So we're hoping to catch some of that atmosphere and share it with you guys. And there we have it. Well, there they are, ladies and gentlemen, the result. Which we'll give you in a minute when the prizes and the ribbons are presented. That's Ron Brewster driving out. That's Ron Brewster for the win. That's great news. Huge congratulations to them. As I said, the efforts that go into turning these horses out is fantastic. And, and we thank Ron everyone Brewster for being here today room. and for doing it. Victor Scott. That's Victor Scott taking third. Congratulations. And following that is Jock McMillan. Jock McMillan in fourth place. Ed Noble in fifth. Received in history for driving with Father Hugh Ramsey. He was an Ed driving her own team of four. It was a huge family heritage in driving with this family. So it's really, really great to have them here today. Is Adam Dickensai driving for David Walker. He's got Clydesdale there. He's got one Shire. Great to see this gentleman, Adam, driving here this afternoon, all the way from America. So the driver that's placed, that the 
with the cart that's been placed in six, has come all the way from America to join us today. People really do travel from all over the world to join us. So if you are streaming and watching us live, and you're from wherever in the world, maybe have a think about joining us in person next year. We'd love to have you. And was also a solver of Billy, who is the father of Andrew, David, and Julie, who are here today. And Billy used to drive himself, so the solver has that on it. And I think that's Andrew presenting it, his sister Julie there, and brother David also. Lovely hearing the crowd so cheering and clapping thank everyone you for the on. Of the Sterling family who have sponsored and supported every hostile house over the years here at the Royal Howard Show. As I earlier, this family here, David, Andrew and Julie, are the fourth generation. I believe it could be the fifth generation about to follow on. So the winners of this afternoon of the teams of four are the McIntyre team from Ayrshire, driven today by Ron Brewster. And in second place. Well, there you have it. Thank you so, so have, much uh, for joining us today. David you've been, Moon, you've been an absolute delight South to host. I hope you've enjoyed all of the footage that we brought to you. Belgians. Don't panic, we've still got two whole days we're left, but we'll be bringing you an back. array of things to see. Um, and tomorrow, I believe we're back with you at 9.30 and we'll be covering the dairy goats. So take care until then. Thank you. Goodbye.